Do I just talk? Yeah. I go, is there a question? <coughs> Well, just talking talking about just going yeah, I've never done this to be honest. Okay. <laughs> I'll ask you one. If you can just kind of talk about uh, having to dig a little deep to get the win over Tulsa. Yeah, of course. Uh, you know, being on the defensive side of the ball, you know, those are the games you, you love and you just want when they're going to come at you. You know, and that makes you, you know, search for your warrior mentality within, and that's what we had to do. And we do this every day out here. You know, we get games like that just to go to war with the man in front of you. You know, it gets your blood pumping, it gets you going. So I'm excited, and, you know, to come out with the win. It's, it makes you that much more happier about, you know, the work you put in through the week and on game day. So, you know, definitely dig deeper than other games. But, uh, you know, I'm not surprised. So I'm excited for the next game and, you know, the rest of the season to come. What are you doing as a nose tackle getting 13 tackles? That's got to be pretty <laughs> good. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know. There's no secret to it, man. Just, just play ball, just run the ball. And if you happen to be there when the ball carrier has it, you know, just go for him and you know, try to kill him. You know, that's what we do. So it's, you know, to play defensive line, it's not you know, something that can always be coached. It's either in you or it's not. You know, and you have to progress each day you come out. So it's more so a mentality you know, when I line up. And I take a lot of pride in it. And just coming from last season to, uh, to the point where I'm now, you know, all the hard work I put in and you know, blood and sweat, you know, it's exciting to get games like this. So, were you counting your tackles at all, or were you trying to? Hey, did you know you had 13, or were you going for 20? Or <laughs> that's funny. Uh, you know, to be honest with you, I don't, I don't really keep keep track of what's going on during game. And I didn't even know I had 13 till today. So, you know, I was told eight at one point or seven. So, you know, I'm not uh, I'm not real big on stats. I just want the team to win, and you know, we're always told to be unselfish. But it's one thing to be told, and it's another thing to do it. So, sort of how far have you come? Uh, just from last year coming in, where you were still having to learn some things, maybe do some catching up, and uh, to this point, uh, is a big difference. Yes, uh, physically or mentally, both. Both. both uh, well, physically, you know, I came in a little overweight. Coach Bailiff always uh, probably will never stop joking about it, but uh, you know, I was out that summer. I had signed my scholarship real late. And I came in, uh, you know, 315 plus. Oh. And to run around compared to then, I'm, I'm 290 now, so not having that extra 30 pounds helps out. And just the mental part of it, uh, you know, when, when you look in the mirror and you don't see, you know, an extra jelly roll or something, that now makes you feel better. And I'm a big believer in if you feel good, you're going to play good. So just all around, you know, I feel better. I feel more at home with my body. So I'm excited. How much do you weigh now? In between 290 to 295, okay. depending on you know what, what type of burger I'm gonna eat that day. So. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, is that the, is the explosive? Now, do you? I mean, do you feel I mean, the weight's one thing, but do you feel it just when now when, when you're doing things on the field? Is it the endurance, being able to? Because there was one play, I believe, at Kansas that you tackled a guy, you know, down, you know, 15 yards downfield. Yeah, uh, yeah, of course. I mean, explosive is going to be there. We train ridiculously through the week uh, on, on, on the finer muscles, you know. And that for defensive line, getting off the ball is key, and, and having that explosiveness is uh, is crucial. It's critical. So, not having the weight, you know, just like you said, Kansas, I'm able to to uh, do more than I was before. You know, that's that's all you can do is do more to help the team. So, uh, you know, Coach Bailiff, he had, he pointed out. And they brought it up after the game in a little little clip of it. They said I ran down the uh, the running back and receiver across the field, and uh, you know the whole team was getting real real happy and, and joking about it. But you know I'm not surprised because when you put in the work, you know that we did over the summer through the off season, you know you expect yourself to do things like that. And uh, you know I don't want to sound blunt at all, but you know that. You know, expect more of that from me and from the defense because we're, we're going to run with the ball and rally, you know, every play. We're always swarming. We're always going to bring it. So that's the uh, the, the trademark we want to leave as a Rice defense this season. Coach Watts tested y'all. He's a tough running back for sure. Uh, just talk about that and then also the, the combination of you and Covington. That's a, that's a healthy middle there. He is real healthy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Watts is a great player. He, uh, you know, he earns his respect, you know. You speak with, with your pads and the way you play, and he's physical. That whole offensive line was physical, how they ran at you every play. They were a downhill team. And, 
you know, like I said before, as a defensive lineman, that's that's what you live for. You know, you, you got to be a bull. You got to be dirty inside, and we got to do that all afternoon against Tulsa. And uh, to, to, you know, touching on Christian, he's a real good, dear friend of mine, and I love playing beside him. You know, I think we're starting to, to the chemistry has been there, but just through the through the duration of the season, it's getting stronger, and we're feeding off each other. You know, we're more compatible with each other's presence, and we can uh, kind of read each other's movements of what we're going to do even before the play. Even if a word's not said, we just know where each other's going to be. So, you know, I'm excited to play by him, and I'm sure he would say likewise. Okay, thank you. We'll have Derek Dillon come on up.